So last time we talked about just, we just basically wambled. If you don't know, I filmed the last one when I was ill. Maybe the stupidest decision I've made, but I had to do something. And even though I didn't edit that much, maybe it's good to see just words and no pictures. So, here's Turning 18, part two. So, turning 18, I want to talk about the stuff that doesn't involve school and college, we may go back to it, but for me, turning 18 is a big scare. There's always people in my class or even at college who wanted to be 18 or wanted to grow up and wanted to do this and that. I always wanted to stay young, I did. I didn't want it to wash growing up whatsoever. I never did. I never wanted to. And maybe that's a good thing. That is because I'm able to enjoy my youth. The youngness of being this. When you're under when you're under the age of 18, it may seem lazy for me to say, but it's the truth that your parents do an awful lot for you. It's depending if you're a good kid or a bad kid. I'm always, good, I'm like one of those good kids, but you are always going to have arguments, you're always going to have this and that. It's just pending in families, how far does it go? It just, it just keep behind the words and never use these, and then you'll be all cool. So, and for being under 18, you get a lot of, a lot of people do a lot of stuff for you. Sorry, one second. Anyway, a lot of people do stuff for you. You don't have to pay for much. In fact, when you do end up wanting to pay for something, sometimes you can be like, mm, okay, let them, or sometimes you pay for it yourself. You get a lot done. And like if you go on holidays, the places can be cheaper. And also there's one place called Hoban, where if you go there, under 18s have to be accompanied by an adult. And I don't know, maybe that made me felt special, that I didn't have to choose much of my choices. One of the laws that we have here is that for under 18s, including 16s, 17s, that if you ever go to hospital 999, then an adult has to make a decision for you. I've always been told that, yeah, my my parents will come with me, but just think about that. So, question, am I gonna have to make the decisions now? Man, I hope nothing bad will happen to my teeth. It's just, it's the fact that people can do stuff for you. That's what just made it good. You can make the excuse that you can't do this because you're under 18. You can't do this because you're under 18. Now it's just like, I don't want to do this because I don't want to do this. That's it, basically. On the YouTube side of things, 
Um, YouTube in the early days were quite stressful. I think for four, when I was 14 I did it a little bit and I went. And then a year later at the end of like December, at the end of like 2015 I remember it was like December. I came back doing Christmas videos, I called it the Christmas final videos and I've continued it ever since. And I've done that, I have. If you don't know, I'm preparing for all those type of videos starting from the start of September because I'm worried that I won't get them finished and this will be a daily, this will be a thing where I'll do every year now. But doing YouTube in the school days were hard I will say. One, because I was a newbie. Two, it was amazing that I was able to get content out. Yeah, there were days where I was really, really tired, but the fact that you're in school, and I think that most of the time, most of the lip sync songs I did, and I will admit this for college, that I did it just to oppress people. It was quite high in school, I will say. Now I don't really do it, I don't do that at all, I do the songs that I want to do and when I want to do them but I don't know, YouTube during that time it's easy to do but it's like if you say one thing in one video it can be spread around the whole school no matter if you're in a special school or not they have some similarities they do but most of the time it was never like that, it wasn't it was mostly just good things and I feel like the whole school did knew that I was a YouTuber, I, I was. And looking back on some of my videos, it looks like when I did my lip sync videos, I didn't know how to, I guess, adjust myself or look at the camera quickly. So it's interesting now that I know all this stuff and I know how to be more creative and I know how to do that. So to be honest, my lip sync videos definitely got better because of green screen. So, was doing YouTube hard during that time? Easy, but when I go into college and all that, I don't know, I think things looked a bit brighter. I think I stopped for a while and then I came back. So, maybe that helped. Now, I, I've always thought to myself, should I stop talking to these people who are now under 18 that I will be 18 when I'm 18? And I've said to myself, no. One, Yag CV and those other people will catch up to my age eventually. They will. It's just it's gonna take some time. But then people like Cameron, like, do you think like I should stop communicating with them? No. I will continue to communicate with the same people I do. And like you shouldn't <laughs> people look you shouldn't worry. I'm a sensible person. I am. Alright. Like I think a lot daily you could call me one of those thinkers if you would like to say i'm one of those people who could worry a lot but then also it's like on the internet you don't want to make me angry but um i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna continue communicating with them as much as i can so really what do i actually think of turning 18 i think it's scared i think most people who don't want to grow up will feel scared and i understand that when you're over 18 you're able to do this, you're able to do that. Well, funny enough, I have parents who are not like everyone else. They're cool, calm, and, well, let's say, things are better, they are. Things are good, and I don't have to worry about any of that. I don't plan on ever getting a job because this is what I want to do. Because I could have dreamed of, I could not dream of anything else to do. Thank you guys for watching. 